Never know what kind of car I'll be in. See how much you be partying in. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So, uh, check out this, uh, shark mask right here. They're my eyes! They're the glowing eyes. And, like, obviously they're the actual eyes of the shark. It looks so messed up. Like, the teeth are, like, coming through the cape right there. I don't really know what's happening, but if you look at it from, like, a bird's eye view, it just looks so messed up. But anyway, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another progression episode. So today, I'm actually going to be doing some more skilling because you guys have said recently you want a bit more skilling in the episodes, a bit more variation. So we still have 109 of the shadow creatures to kill, but I am going to be doing some skilling first off. So uh, as you can see down here in the chat, I've just logged in and I actually have three skilling challenges. So I'm going to do those today and I'll probably put them in this video. I'm not too sure yet. Depends if I get anything like good from them, but... From now on guys, I'm going to higher up the loot beam settings and make it a bit more interesting, I guess, whenever I get a golden beam, so things are a bit more valuable, I guess, and I don't know, I guess it makes it a bit more interesting for you guys, but either way, uh, I've, just, I've just been claiming all of the Christmas prizes because I haven't claimed them for a few days, and obviously the shark head was one of them. We got four, I think they're all four, yeah, medium prismatic stars. We also got a medium protein pack, which I presume everyone is the same, so you probably have already got this, but I'm just going to say, um, I'm just going to show you guys, sorry, what I do use them on. So I'm going to get the protein bars because I find them most efficient. And we also have a large dungeoneering token box in which, what did we get? We got 7,270 dungeoneering tokens. So I now have 10,703. I really don't have many at all, so I need to get some of those up. I'm going to put mainly just, like, the core levels, I guess, in the videos from now on, just to make it a bit more interesting for you guys and, uh, I don't know, mix up a bit, like I said before. So, we'll be working on some cooking today. I'll also be doing some, well, I'm going to be doing some smithing now that I have the protein bars, because they're pretty good, and uh, maybe some summoning as well. I'm hoping for level 93, uh, but maybe 94, depending on how many charms I do have. How many charms do we actually have, actually, if we have a look in the loot tab? We have... Okay, we only have 172 crimsons, we also have 691 blue charms, so I could use the festive aura with the uh, blue charms and make that double, because that will be awesome XP. I could do that actually, because I have quite a few of those, I'm quite happy of that, so yeah, I'll probably do that later on and just see how far we get, I guess. But uh, I'll see you guys with the next level, whatever one I decide to get. Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So it's been a little while now, not very long at all, uh, but I've just been doing some of the uh, protein bars that I had. I'm just obviously right here now at the Artisan's Workshop making uh, make just whatever it is with the Adamant Ingots 3. So uh, yeah, just got level 77 smithing, which is pretty awesome. The doorbell's going off, a parcel has arrived, so I'll be back in a second. Alright, well that was a bit disappointing. The parcel was actually for next door, so it wasn't even a present for me, so that's great. Um, but yeah guys, like I was saying, level 77 now, just thought I'd do some smithing to get a level up. I will end up going for level 80, not too sure if it's in this video, but I mean, I might as well just round them all up, you know, go one skill at a time, but I'm gonna break off this one here now, just probably finish off with this invent here, and uh, then I'll go and pick something else to do. Okay, so I've been doing some cooking, just with a really quick, easy method, using the grapes on the jugs of water to make some unfermented wine, and then you just get like 2.8k XP pretty quickly after you have made these together. So I believe after this next one, we won't get the level, but we'll get it on the one after. So it's a pretty quick method, uh, very easy, and obviously it doesn't really require a high level at all. I believe it's level, yeah, level 35 as you saw there, so really isn't difficult at all. Super quick XP, but it is a bit pricey, so I probably will just do it for this one level. I literally just want the milestone level. So if we wait a couple of seconds, these should turn into Jug of Wine, and there we go guys. There is level 80, a nice milestone. Finally got that to level 80. I've been saying it for a while, but we unlocked Shark there, so that's pretty useful. And uh, yeah, a nice little milestone level there, and I'm quite happy of that. Okay, so I just met these two really awesome subscribers. I believe they're both Australians. So that's really awesome. Just did a couple of screenshots with them and they're uh, just chilling. So I thought I'd put them in the video because I said I would. I love meeting you guys. And like I said, if you ever want to meet up, just let me know in the FC. We'll find a place and just chill, I guess, for a bit. So yeah, really nice meeting these guys. And like I said, if any of you guys want to do it as well, just let me know. Join the FC. All right, so we've just been doing some cash. Let's go ahead and see how much XP we get from this. Uh, we got 16.6k, so a lot of people there actually got uh, levels, which is awesome, but we got a nice amount of XP there. We have only 21k until level 64, which is not too far to go, so I'm happy of that. The next one is in three hours, so I will, of course, be attending that as well. And uh, with that, 
if we do a bit better this time, we might be able to get the whole level. I'm not too sure, but at least I'll be able to get it by the end of the day. But it's also the Amlord Hour in Elf City, so I'm going to go and do that now and try and get myself 93 or 94 summoning. So what I've been doing is making these geyser titan pouches, and if we go ahead and infuse this one, there we go guys, there is level 93 summoning. So I still have 21 minutes of my festive aura still, so if I'm honest, I might be able to get level 94, I'm not too sure, but it's only taken a few minutes to get that one, and that was about 450k XP, so that really isn't that bad. We have 739k until 94, so I'm actually betting we can do this. We still have over half of the charms left, so uh, let's have a look and see. Also, a little milestone in the chat down here, we've just reached the total level of 2200, so that is pretty cool as well. Well, the aura has just run out, and this is my final bag of summoning. For right now, I've run out of the blues, and this is the last of the crimsons as well. So there is the final 4.4k, although we are only 96k away from 94, which I will get by the end of the video, that is a guarantee. So let's go ahead, do some Slayer, try and get some more charms so I can get that level. Alright, so we're on the final kill of the Shadow Creatures task, and we've gone down so much XP, it's crazy. Um, like I said to you guys before, many times, it's like 930 Slayer XP per kill, and it's insane. It's literally insane. Let me kill this one here and I'll show you guys how much we have left. So 929 and we only have 846k until 97 Slayer. And when I started, when I got the level in the last one, I was like over a mil away. So we got that much XP just from this one task. So yeah, that was really good. But that was our 215th in a row. Let's go ahead and grab the next one. Turn off those prayers real quick. And uh, I don't really think I've got that many charms, 21 and 27, so they're the only ones really I'm looking at, so I mean, I've still got a way to go. Okay, so the next Slayer task is 227 Ice Strike Worms, so I get these quite a lot recently, and like I've told you guys before, I do have the Mask of the White Worm as well, so I can do them again if I want to. Not really too sure because it is quite a grindy one, um, but who knows, I might go ahead and do that now, and just try and get some more charms really, that is the goal right now, try and get some more charms, so I can get 94 by the end of the episode and then I'll probably end up doing something else as well cash is in an hour and a half so I can go ahead and uh, try and get a level 64 divination all right guys this is the second kill of this task okay I got a golden beam I changed my beam settings to 100k plus and we got some onyx bolts so that was pretty awesome 149 of those don't know how much they're worth let's have a look um, 1.2 mil oh my god it's got a 1.2 mil drop on the second kill of this task that is absolutely insane that is so cool okay we've got another golden beam it's a dragon long sword i don't know why this is on here because this one isn't worth that much i changed the loot beam settings why are they still coming up i don't know but either way guys it's a drop it's over 50k so i guess it's fine but i don't know why that hasn't changed it. i set it to over 100k i've done that like twice now it just hasn't changed it so i'm gonna have a look at that now and uh just see why it's doing it i don't even know Okay, so for some reason, uh, Camtasia didn't record any of the audio over this part here. Um, I don't know why it happened. I've recorded quite a lot of clips and it just hasn't recorded the audio for some reason. I don't even know why. Uh, but right here, guys, we've got another golden beam and we got 80 of the Earth Talisman. So it's like 147k, as you can see there. So nothing crazy, but because I did change my loot beam settings, which I'm obviously showing you guys here, um, it, it has been set to 100k now. So I kept setting it to that and it kept just taking it back to 50k. So I don't really know why. Okay, so this right here is the loot so far from that task. So 2.5 mil, pretty awesome so far. I did a price check now because um, the cash was coming up. So I thought I'd just show you guys what I got. And yeah, got some pretty awesome items. Like I said, 2.5 mil, dragon longsword. We got those earth talismans. And yeah, we got quite a lot of crushed nests there, as you can see, 551k. But in total, it was pretty good. The loot was awesome. The onyx bolts just made my day. So, so right here, guys, this was pretty awesome. This person here in the FC, say no to bots. They sent me a screenshot on Twitter because I actually won one of the giveaways. You know they do random giveaways on Twitter where you can win like money or party hats, stuff like that. I actually won 25 mil, so that was really awesome. There were two winners and for once I was lucky enough to be one of them. So, But yeah, I thought I'd put that in the video just to let you guys know that the money I won from that I'm putting into the bonds for you guys for a giveaway. So I hope you guys will appreciate that and that'll be coming around at 8k subs. We're like 100 and something off that now, I think like 110 or something like that at this time, so that's crazy crazy and uh, yeah this guy here just legitimately gave it to me so say no to bots thank you so much man it was so awesome to win that and like I said I never win anything like this so 
it was just so awesome. I thought I'd put it into a video, let you guys know I'm using the money for a good cause to give back to you guys and just say thank you for being so awesome and hopefully make some of you guys day by giving you membership for two weeks. So fingers crossed you guys win and like I said that is coming around very very soon. But moving on here I am giving in the Chronicle Fragments and getting level 64 divination. So not a great milestone level but you know a level is a level and I wanted that before the end of the video as well so I got that and I was happy with it. So I think that's pretty much everything I think in this clip so far. I hope I haven't missed anything. Uh, but yeah so it was really awesome to win that money and also get a level here as well. This video the luck has been insane so far just the drops and just everything today has been pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, so I was too busy editing this video and like what I've got so far. I missed the golden beam on the floor, but you can see it in the chat here guys. We just got the third fragment of the crystal Triskelion key, so I can finally make my first one ever. It's gonna be so cool. Um, wasn't expecting it whatsoever. And I didn't even know these dropped those, but that was really awesome because, like I said, I was just editing, I looked over and I saw it. So it's a shame I missed it on the first time round. You didn't get to see the beam, but either way, guys, you know, you've seen plenty of beams, but I finally have the third fragment and I can actually, you know, at last make my first key. So only a few more kills left to go, 12 up there, as you can see, and uh, then I'll go and finally make one. All right, guys, so here we go with the final kill. That was our 216th in a row. And we got a mind talisman. How much is that worth? Is it worth picking up? No, it's not. Okay, so let's go ahead and price check the loot from this time around. Take out the runes. And I think that's the only thing which are mine. Yeah, that's it. So 475k, I think that was on top of, if I'm right, it was 2.5 mil. So in total, just call it a mash of 3 mil total loot from this task, which is great. That's like the most I've made from these so far. So really awesome getting the drops that I did. And we also got the uh, good old Crystal Skeleton Fragment 3 there as well. A few charms, not many at all. But overall, guys, that was really awesome. Got some nice XP as well. We actually got down so much XP just in this task and the, sh uh, the Manifest Shadows. Um, how much do we have now? We have 720k left until 97, so really that isn't bad at all just from two tasks We've gone down about 300k, so I'm happy with that. Well, here we go guys Let's make the first ever crystal Triskelion key. That's such a mouthful to say over and over again when you're recording um, Let's go ahead and assemble this and make the first one ever. There it is. Is it not even called a key? It's just a Triskelion. I thought it was a key. Anyway, it probably is a key of some sort, but there we go That is pretty awesome and uh, the key moves on its own seeming to be pointing towards something in the distance. That's great, but anyway, it's just nice to have the first one of those ever made on the account and in the bank, so I'm really happy with that. I probably will end up now doing some summoning. I don't think we have got many charms at all. Let's have a look. Where have all my charms gone? We only have 27 of the crimson, so we don't have enough to get 96k XP. I have some green ones, but they don't really do much, and the blue ones, we have 49 blue ones that are last like two bags, but it just isn't enough. It isn't enough to get me the level, so I'm not really too sure what to do right now. I might get the next task and see what it is, because I also want to do... Um, I want to buy those bonds at the end of the video, just so you guys know I'm not using the money for myself. I'm going to put the money that I won into a giveaway for you guys, just to give back. And I guess just... It was just really lucky, so yeah, I mean, I'll probably give away two bonds as well as the Zarite bow. But I'm not going to show that right now. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and put this uh, Triskelion in the bank. Put it in the loot tab, it looks pretty awesome. Drag it to the top, just to, just to make it look even cooler. Let's go ahead and put it right here. Also, as we're in the loot tab, you know the Ascension Grips right here. Do you remember when I got them? I got them as a double back-to-back -back drop from uh, Rarari back ages ago. I can't even remember when it was. It was a long time ago. I got them back-to-back -back and they're worth 4.4 mil each, okay? Let's go ahead and examine these and then they're worth 5.3. So... I've nearly profited one mil on each one, which is crazy so far, and yeah, really awesome. So I thought I'd show you guys that, but let's go ahead and grab the next task, and fingers crossed we can get something with good charms. I might go and camp water fiends if the task isn't good enough, and then, you know, just, just to get 94 in the video, that is all I want to do. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the next task is 283 Abyssal Demons, so I'm going to have a look real quick and see if what the drop rate is for charms on those, because like I said, if it isn't great, I'll just uh, camp some Water Fiends for a bit, just to literally get myself enough for that one level, because it really isn't that far to go, and it'll be awesome just to end off the video on that note. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have a look now, see what the drop rate is, and then if not, I'll just see you guys when I get 94. Alright guys, so we're coming in with a golden beam from the Abyssal Demons. Yes, there are ashes here because I did forget, uh, I can't even remember what it's called right now, uh, my attuned ectoplasmator, I forgot that, 
but we just got some runite ore so we got a hundred and eight is that holy moly let's have a look and see how much this is worth no oh my days guys nearly 1.1 mil what is with the drops today it, literally this is all the same day this video was recorded over one day the drops today has been insane my luck has been awesome and I don't want to keep going on about it, but seriously, I'm just so happy of this. I mean, I just hope you guys are enjoying this video, man, because this is just great luck for me right now. I haven't really got that many charms from here so far. I am really debating going to water themes, but I just made a mill. If I never came here, I wouldn't have made that. All right, guys, so I'm completely out of my crimsons and blue charms, and this is how close I got. 1.7k until 94, so I have some of the unicorn haunts here to uh, make some unicorn stallion pouches and my god this better give me the level there we go i couldn't be bothered to go and buy some more stuff so that's awesome guys there's level 94 well all right guys the only thing i guess left in this video is to go ahead and sell the pouches and buy the bonds i'm gonna buy two bonds right now uh here is the money from the giveaway in my bag uh so let's go ahead and just sell these real quick i don't know how much money you get back from these okay that's not too bad uh, do they even sell they do sell okay uh, these ones, get another mil from those. I believe bonds are around 14, 15 mil right now. So I'm hoping this covers it. I don't even know. Uh, put that into the invent and let's go ahead and buy a bond. Okay, so I just brought one through for 14 mil dead on. So there we go. 500k back and there we go. We've got a bond there. And let's just do the same for the other one. And then I'll have two bonds to give away to you guys. So hopefully you will enjoy those. Let's go do this again. Just put in, actually it's just 14 mil, isn't it? So there we go, 14, add another one, and there we go guys. We have two bonds for a giveaway when I hit 8k subs alongside these Zarite bow. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. This, like I said, has been over one day. So I hope this has fulfilled your needs for all the different types of things and variations in one video. And yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Check out a massive thumbs up if you have enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Superman ain't saving shit. Girl, you can jump on Shady's.